On this trip, we're going to take a hike into the Runyon Canyon area of the Hollywood Hills above Hollywood, California. This one is sort of a birthday trip for me, as I'm going to have my 86th birthday tomorrow. And to start us off, Dale walks towards the entry gate into Runyon Canyon Park. Located at the end of Fuller Street, off of Franklin Avenue in Hollywood. And then he stops for a minute in the, at the kiosk inside the gate to take a look at the trail map. On this trip we're going to take the loop trail that goes up on one side of Runyon Canyon, crosses over and comes back down on the other. We were in this area once before in 2003, at which time we continued on north on up to Mulholland Drive rather than return on the easterly portion of this loop. The trail begins as a, a quite wide road heading up towards the westerly side of the Runyon Canyon. And it isn't long before we start to get a view of downtown Hollywood with the high buildings of downtown Los Angeles in the background. And then another gate where it announces that it is entering a dogs off leash area. And this is a very popular area for walking dogs without a leash. And so the road or trail continues to climb on up along the west side of the canyon. And we can also look over and see part of the trail on the west side of the canyon that will be returning on. At one point we can look down into the canyon bottom and see a circular maze that someone has created. But then we continue on up towards the upper end of the canyon with some quite massive residences coming into view. As we press over at the upper end of the canyon, we can look back down and see the trail that we have traversed to get up here. And we have another chance to take a look down at that maze we saw down in the bottom of the canyon. And off in the distance is the good old Hollywood sign, the top Mount V. Not the clearest of days, but it did help to, help to keep it cool. And then another chance to take a look at the trail that we traversed to get up here. And another look around at some of the surrounding area. And including this one, where we can get to see the Los Angeles downtown in the distance and the Hollywood area also down below. And then along with, again off in the distance, the Century City area, I think it is. And then we start back along the east side of the canyon. And Jack stops for a minute to have his picture taken. Then one more view of the Hollywood area, and again with L.A. in the background. As we continue our way back down, we find the trail is getting a, a little bit tougher. And then we reach a broad, flatter area where we can just relax a little bit and watch these two doing a little bit of boxing of all things. I'm going to look back at some of the tougher portions of the descent. 
Down here a look north, back up Runyon Canyon. This canyon area was once populated by some prominent people, including the likes of Errol Flynn. And here are the remnants of an old tennis court. Then we reached the bottom of the canyon and decided we'd take a trek up up canyon to see if we could locate that circular maze that we'd spotted from up above. And there it was, with a gentleman out in the middle of it doing some meditating. Ah yes, nothing like good old Hollywood, California. And on the way back, we pass by the ruins of an old house, and with lots of graffiti. Don't have much of a clue as to what it stands for, however. But it is a little bit different, I guess. But then it was back to our starting point, after a quite interesting hike. Not too long, at about two and a half miles, and about a 500 foot elevation gain.